Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. This is my OLED Steam Deck, and these are my installed games. Do you notice anything unusual about this list? About this list of games? Yeah, you think about it for a minute, watch the intro, and then when we come back, I'll tell you what it is and how you can do it too. Stick around. All right, so maybe you figured it out, maybe you didn't figure it out. Take a look here. This game list is in alphabetical order, as every Steam Dex is. Banishers should be the first game on the list, but it's not. Operation Wolf is. O, B, C, H, H. Everything else is in order, just not this one. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, that might be actually cool because if I'm playing Operation Wolf more frequently, or maybe it's my current favorite game or whatever, I'd love to have it at the top of the list. I don't need Banishers at the top of the list. I don't want Tainted Grail at the top of the list. I want Operation Wolf at the top of the list. But how do you do this? How do you force a game to be out of order in the order that you want it to be? Well, this is pretty cool, and it's a brand new feature of the Steam uh, client beta. So. You do have to be on the beta channel for this. Uh, if you're on the Steam Deck, you'll go over to your system and select beta, do your updates. And when you get back, you'll be able to have this exact same feature. Now, you can't do this, unfortunately, from gaming mode. Again, that's very unfortunate. You will have to make a trip to desktop mode. So let's head on over there now. All right, now we're back here on desktop mode. If we go take a look at Steam and we go to our settings, you'll be able to see, once I move it to the right screen, <laughs> you'll be able to see that um, I am indeed in the Steam Deck beta. You have to be in the beta for this right now. Eventually it'll trickle over into the stable branch, but for now, if you wanna do this neat little trick, you'll have to be in the beta branch. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's go back into my Steam library now. And uh, again, we'll move it over here. So if you take a look at my, now I've got categories that I've got stuff stuffed into, but my uncategorized games, you'll also notice it's not just games that I have installed, but you'll see Operation Wolf appears at the top, the very top of the list, even before numbers and A's and B's. So how do we get away with that? How did we do that? Well, this is a brand new feature, uh, complements of the beta branch. If you go into the game of your choice, go to the gear, and again, this only works in desktop mode, and go to properties. There is a brand new tab now called customization. Now, this is cool for a couple of different reasons. Now, we're focusing on this order of listings thing, but you also have the ability to change artwork. Now, I know what you're saying. Shane, I got Decky Loader. I got the Steam Grid DB plugin. I don't need that. That's fine. For those of us, though, that have left Decky Loader because of its volatility, now we have sort of another way of getting in and monkeying with our uh, artwork. Now, unfortunately, it's not gonna go to Steam Grid for you and find the artwork. You have to go find it, then click change, and you'll select the file that you wanna use. So it's certainly not as easy as Decky Loader, but this new interface really makes it easy to get to the uh, main items, right? There's one, two, three, four. Now, if you followed my previous video on how to change all five custom images yourself, there's one missing, and that's the icon but we'll save that for another video. But what we're talking about today is the custom sort name right at the bottom. So this is where it comes in. You're going, artwork, I don't care about that. You got to scroll to the bottom, custom sort name. And this name is only used for sorting. So and you can see in this case, I've used an underscore and I just said op wolf, right? I could have just made this an underscore and it would have appeared at the top of the list because underscores appear before numbers, before letters, it actually pushes it to the top. So if you wanted this to be your number one, you could change this to underscore one. Then the next game you want to appear on the list, change it to underscore two, underscore three, et cetera, et cetera. And you can customize the uh, way that this comes up. Let's do another one just so you can see how it works. And let's say I wanted Tainted Grail to be the second game in the list. So I'll jump in here, I'll go to properties, go down to customization, and the sort name, as you can see, there is none. Now I gotta reach over the microphone here, underscore two, perfect, and gone. Now look at that, there they are. I'll take away my filter, and you can see number one and number two. 
Now, you're probably thinking that seems kind of silly and easy, and why haven't we always been able to do that? Well, we haven't. And this is brand new features, brand new functionalities to the Steam Beta. And uh, the Steam Betas have been fairly stable these days. Normally, I don't recommend anybody go to the Beta that's not ready to deal with some problems. But the Betas have been pretty stable and steady these days. So you're probably safe to go in here if you can't wait to use this feature. All right. Well, listen, I hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe if you did. Uh, leave a comment if you did. Really helps us out with the algorithm. Appreciate that. Appreciate you watching my videos. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.